And also in the news, the International Community of the Red Cross, ICRC, welcomes Nigeria's commitment to contribute to a global ban on nuclear weapons after it ratified the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons on August 6, 2020. Nigeria signed the treaty on 20th of September 2017 after it was adopted by United Nations Diplomatic Conference. The treaty prohibits the development, testing, production, stockpiling, stationing, transfer, use and threat of use of nuclear weapons. For nuclear armed states that join the treaty, it provides for a time-bound framework for the verified elimination of the nuclear weapons program. Legal advisor at the ICRC, Anne Ladi, said, and I quote, The ratification of this important legal instrument by Nigeria is commendable. It is a step in the way to global prohibition of nuclear weapons, end of quote. This week marks 75 years since the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the tragedy that showed the world the devastating and irreversible effects of nuclear weapons. And joining us to talk more on this is Public Relations Officer, ICRC Nigeria, Aliyu Daobe. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Why is the ICRC invested in Nigeria's decision to ratify the Treaty on uh, Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons? Thank you very much for, for this question um, uh, and also for having me in the program. Um, our international mandate as an organization is mainly to assist people affected by armed conflict and violence. So from there you can see uh, the ICRC is always interested in things that are going to reduce the amount of sufferings of civilian populations, especially when uh, it is a conflict situation or in terms of violence. So we're very, very much interested in issues like this so that countries of the world will come out uh, to prohibit the use of uh, nuclear weapons in the world. Uh, in, 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 in 75 years ago, when this happened in, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, we, we saw how terrible it was and how civilian populations were affected. So our concern is mostly with the sufferings of civilian population during conflicts and to try to limit these sufferings uh, in the course of uh, uh, countries, uh, uh, I mean, having nuclear or uh, heavy arms to use on during fighting. Is there any significance to Nigeria as a country um, being a part of this treaty and, of course, uh, once again ratifying, uh, you know, their um, presence? Absolutely. Nigeria is part of the global uh, world. So uh, whatever happens in the globe affects Nigeria. And of course, Nigeria has also suffered a lot of uh, conflicts. Uh, you you bear me witness what is happening in Nigeria, especially in the northeast of Nigeria, where for 10 years we've been having uh, conflicts uh, in the northeast of Nigeria. Looking at this, uh, what is happening in the northeast is not actually a nuclear uh, that is released there, but it's light arms that are used in the northeast of Nigeria. Despite light arms use, you could see the amount of uh, civilian population, we are talking about more than 20, uh, 2 million people uh, displaced in the northeast of Nigeria uh, and, and, and so on and so on. So you could see light arms are used and then you could see the magnitude, the amount of suffering that this is bringing to the civilian population. You could see the amount of destruction happening to all the structures uh, that has to do with health structures, has to do with uh, water sanitation to populations and so on and so forth. So uh, looking at this, definitely Nigeria will have to be interested and yeah. uh, the International Committee of the Red Cross is also very much interested to see that uh, sufferings of civilian populations during armed conflicts is restricted and is uh, uh, completely stopped. And also, you, like you also mentioned, 75 years since the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, why would you say it is vital to mark the tragic bombing? It is very, very vital uh, because uh, even then when the, the, the Japanese Red Cross wanted to assist, it was so difficult and daunting to the task to them because uh, they are also not free from being affected by this uh, uh, arsenal that was dropped on Japan. So this is something that we don't want to see again because our interest is always to assist people that are affected. So there is no way we can assist if we are also afraid. To, 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 uh, or we can also be affected by, by this uh, arsenal of, 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 of uh, weapons that are used uh, in recent times.
Okay, and of course, so we, we still have carried on with the conversation around nuclear weapons. Um, even today, with worrying developments that is straining relationships between countries like North Korea, China, the USA, and, and others, what is the R ICRC doing to intervene you know, with this you know, relationships? Okay, good to, to answer this. ICRC uh, does not go into political issues that affect countries of the world. But what we do is to try to work with all our uh, partners that are working in these countries, our colleagues that are working in some of these countries, to see how we can influence the decision of countries to change and uh, accept uh, to sign this treaty, just like Nigeria has done uh, two days ago. So this is something we would continue to do in all uh, countries of the world where we are operating, over 900, uh, 90 countries of the world. So this way, we should be able to influence. This is an effort that we will not relent. We still have hope that a lot of countries are still going to, to join in. Now we have 43 countries that have signed. Uh, 50 countries are supposed to sign so that this will become binding on all countries of the world uh, to, 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 I mean, to, to, for, for, pro, for the prohibition to bind on all the countries of the world. So we are now short of seven countries. Uh, our colleagues in all parts of the world will continue to push for this uh, in the various countries we are operating. All right. Thank you so much um, for... Uh, of course, sharing with us has been a pretty interesting conversation. And of course, I hope that those seven countries do sign and get, you know, to be a part of, uh, you know, the treaty. Thank you very much for having me and have a good afternoon. You too.